In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a photography album or a photo album. So this is how the slide looks when I click. It will show you a photo album and then it will give you small circles also. And so you can just instead of creating a, a normal photo album, you can just do something creative like this. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to some dark color background. Then go to insert shapes, select a oval shape. Just hold the shift key while drawing the or making the oval shape and put it in the center and shape fill. I'm going to make it white color and press control D to duplicate this one. And I'm going to give a different outline for this. And if you want, you can make it more weight. Something like this. You can just reduce the size a little bit. And then I'm going to add a picture into this. Right mouse click, go to format shape. Under picture fill, you can select any picture or you can just go to insert from file. And wherever your pictures are located, you can just select any image from there and then press ctrl d to duplicate it i'm just going to add one more by reducing the size again ctrl d so seven or eight times i'm going to do this again ctrl d a somewhat bigger here you can place it randomly wherever you want ctrl d Maybe one small here, control D somewhere here and control D one more here. So I've got added some few pictures, then we can place it wherever you want. Then let me just select this image and change it. So I'm going to select maybe this image. For this, I'm going to select maybe this image. So you can just select the images of your choice. So let me just select some more images. Maybe this image. Likewise, you can select all the images one by one. So if you want, you can arrange it. I can make it more bigger also. This one should come here. We can just arrange as per your requirement. And then I'm going to insert some small shapes also or the oval shapes. and just randomly add here and there you can reduce or make a bigger size and then we can just change it later on so likewise we can just add eight or nine different sizes So like this, you can add it more. So here like this, I can add. And then you can add some text here. Go to insert text box, just type photography or photo album whatever you want to say and I'm going to use a different font 
maybe century gothic bold and put it here and you can add more uh, detailed text to this now let's change the shape outline you can give different different outlines so for each and everything you can change the outlines all the circles and then you can change the color of this small circles also so just do all the changes and then we'll do the the animation part to add the animation go to animations enable the animation pane i have used two animation for example i would like to animate this first i'm going to add animation which is grow and turn when i click it is growing and turning so and then i'm going to add one more add animation I can give some zoom effect also and the zoom effect should happen with previous and if I play it comes like this if you want you can make it slower also something you can do if you want you can make it more faster very fast also you can do it So this also you can say it very fast if you play it comes like this and this also I will say should happen with previous and then I'm going to select this animation painter double click and start clicking randomly Now let's see how it looks. When I play, it's all coming together. You can just make it changes for this two, make it 25. Likewise, you can change all. Then I'm going to remove this two. So when I click, it will come something like this. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.